Hello and welcome to the one 106 of a second photography podcast. First of all, I must apologize because I have missed a few weeks and I haven't announced it. There's There's been reasons for that. So unfortunately, I've had a bit of a health issue. So that took me away from things. I was doing a lot of YouTube videos because I sent myself a silly 30 day challenge um, and, and the health thing came towards the end of that. It wasn't at the start. So don't worry. And I've just been busy with DIY and other things. And sadly, the photography podcast slipped a little bit. So I do apologize that there's been a bit of a gap, but I'm back on it now. Everything's OK. I'm OK. You'll be pleased to know. So today's episode is called I Sold the 550D. The 550D is a pivotal camera for me. It really got me into a lot of things and it maintained me for a long time. So in short, I've sold it, but let's go back. Let's go right back to the very start. So I, out of the blue, one day decided that I wanted to make short films. So I needed a digital camera. So I got a digital camera and it was a Pentax SLR. No, to start with, I had a camcorder. And obviously you very quickly outgrow that. And you want something more cinematic. You want to get a shallower depth of field. So a camcorder is not really suitable for that sort of thing. So we've got a Pentax DSLR. And that was really good. And it was cheap. And my dad actually had loads of manual Pentax lenses because he used to have a Pentax SLR film camera, which he gave to me. So I got his lenses and his film camera. It was a really good film camera, really good lenses. So I was set with Pentax and everything was good. It didn't matter too much that the, the lenses didn't have autofocus because at the time, you know, video stuff didn't really have autofocus anyway. And I was quite happy to do manual focus. So I had an SLR, a, a DSLR and an SLR. So I started doing a bit more photography stuff. And I soon found that I really liked sort of serious photography. Hold on. So that was my doorbell and I've been waiting all day and I've just, just had to nip off and I've been waiting all day for my Canon PowerShot Zoom to arrive. That is a mouthful. That is a tongue twister. It's arrived. I really didn't want to miss the delivery driver. So I rushed off to get it and it's actually going to be reviewed in my next episode. So I'm glad I got it, although seem to be a few issues with it already. I'll cover that in the next episode. So I had an SLR and I got into, sorry, I had a DSLR and I got into photography and I started to get sort of better lenses. And what I found was the Pentax was good for photography, but the Pentax DSLR was not good for video. So at the time you could get a Canon 500D, that was the crop sensor one. And that was okay but the 550d came out and that really launched a lot of youtubers it launched a lot of online video stuff it was used very much as a video centric dslr it was part of that dslr revolution and i never used canon before not at all so i shelled out the money for the canon i got rid of my pentax i sold it and I had the Canon 550D for ages. I've started to build up my lens collection. It was really good, you know. It had and I it had flash, so I got into off-camera flash with the T with the T2i, the 550D T2i for the American audience. And in good light, it was an exceptional camera. It started to fall apart at ISO 800. It didn't have fantastic focusing and certainly focusing has become surpassed, but it was really, really good. And it got me into Canon and I was filming short films with it. I was filming YouTube stuff with it. It wasn't great compared to today's stuff. And, and also it didn't really do MP4. It did um, dot .mov, um, QuickTime. So I had to transcribe it. Quick time because I had a PC. So if I had a Mac, it would have worked flawlessly, but I had a PC, so it didn't work particularly well. I had to transcribe it. Anyway, that's the video stuff. Then I got the 5D Classic, the 5D Mark I, but I still used the 550D because I found it was lighter, it had an inbuilt flash, 
I had some EFS lenses only, so I still used it, but I started to use it less and less because I would take the 5D Classic out with me. That would be my workhorse camera that was full frame, gave a much better performance in low light, gave a, probably I'd say a nicer image, although there wasn't really much between them in good light because the 550D was in a newer sensor compared to the, although that didn't really make much difference. The low light, yeah, forget I said it was a new sensor. It was sharp and stuff, but it was no good in low light. Anyway, I used that for ages. It became my sort of backup camera. I had two cameras and I took, I, I think I did some wedding photography and I took both cameras with me and it was great. You know, I, I got a 50 mil lens for it. It was, it was actually an a corona of an 85 mil on the 550D and a 50 mil on the 5D and it was really good. But I saw a couple of years later, I saw a great price for a 200D, a, you know, a price that you couldn't refuse at. So I got a 200D and that had the latest dual pixel autofocus in and it was just so much better for video and actually it was better for stills and that actually surpassed my 5D. So I ended up, I had three Canon DSLRs and two of them sat in a drawer. The 5D mainly sat in a drawer because the 200D was lighter, it performed better, it had better autofocus, the battery lasted longer. There was no need for the 550D, but I wasn't willing to sell it. And when I looked at selling it, the price I would get for it was hardly anything. I might as well keep it. Now, recently I've decided I'm going to get rid of stuff. I'm having a big clear out. So the 550D did come up as mm, maybe I should get rid of this. So I still had the box. I still, you know, I had a spare battery for it. I had quite a lot of nice things for it. Still, you know, it was in its original packaging and I sold it. I finally sold it. I got a price I was happy with. It was nowhere near to what close to what I paid for it. But what was really nice was the person I sold it to was just starting their journey in photography. They were like me. So they've got a lovely DSLR with an 80 megapixel sensor that takes raw images, um, works on an SD card. And I sold them a, a small Young Neuro 50 millimeter lens as well, which is the nifty 50 Canon copy is the copy of the Canon one. So they're starting out where I was. So in a way, it was really nice to pass that camera on and that starter lens on to someone else. I didn't have the kit lens. I think I must have got rid of the kit lens a long time ago. But I did realise I was quite sad when I went, went and gave it to them and, and sold it because it was such a nostalgic camera. For me, it was the one that started everything really in video and photography and off-camera flash and everything I've done really goes back to that 550D. So I was very sad to see it leave, very sad to see it go, but I have some solace in the fact that I passed it on to someone who is just starting their journey. So it begs the question, do you have any gear that you're really nostalgic about that has happy memories? Anything like that, do let me know, do get in contact. I'd love to hear your thoughts. So as you've heard, Next week's episode is going to be solely about the Canon PowerShot Zoom. Is it a camera? Is it a monocle? Is it both? Well, we'll find out next week. Thank you and goodbye.